video too! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peyton. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. It's nice to see you. Before I get into this video, there are a few things that I feel like I need to say. There are a lot of things that have been on my heart and my mind lately after the recent death of George Floyd. I know that I was supposed to release this video last week. However, I feel like the situation at hand needs not just my attention, but also your 100% attention. I have been signing petitions, I've been out protesting, I have been calling hotlines and sending emails and spreading awareness about this pandemic that has been resonating in America for over 400 plus years. I think it's important for, you know, us to educate ourselves and really understand you know, certain situations from multiple perspectives and really just learn to put ourselves in other people's shoes. One thing that people unfortunately fail to realize is that there are people that are hurting. There are people that are dying because of the systemic racism that is embedded in our country and its laws. I don't want to get too much into it right now. However, I do also think that it is very necessary for all of us to use our voices at this time. It is asked that you speak up and show your support. If you can't physically go out and protest, or if you can't afford to help out financially by donating to certain organizations dedicated to these movements, that's completely understandable. However, there are other ways that you can help. You can help by signing petitions or calling certain hotlines. You can educate yourself by reading books, watching videos, watching movies. We live in a world where information is easily accessible to us. There are videos here on YouTube. You're already here on YouTube. They have videos that you can watch that have ads just piled in there, just stuffed in the whole entire video. And if you let it play from start to finish all the way through, you are financially helping out the Black Lives Matter movement. So with that being said, I will link some resources for you guys to get involved and use your voice and be heard. Because in all reality, your vote, it counts. Your voice, it counts. Here on YouTube, your view, it counts. But anyways, getting on to the video. I just had another quick little disclaimer for you guys and then I'll stop talking, I promise. This video is a part two to my Extreme Room Makeover. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will also link that in the description box below. Please watch that one first. If you watch that one first, this video will make so much more sense, I promise. So, let's do it. Okay guys, so today is day three and I just got my rug. I know it's a little bit backwards to make my bed and then put the rug down, but honestly, I just needed to get all the old furniture out of here so that I'll have room for my new furniture and I needed to get my new bed built. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open this and put this down. This is a seven by nine rug. I don't know how it's gonna look and how big it's actually going to be. It's a lot taller than I thought it was going to be, but... We're just gonna see how it works. Who needs scissors? This is the desk. It's super tall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it has one drawer and I needed a drawer because my last desk didn't really have one. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with this. This desk is from Amazon and I will link it in this description box below. It's somewhat together. I still do need to get some decor. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Just threw some stuff in there. Um, I did put my nightstand under there just because I plan on putting it on my patio when I redo my patio. Um, but just for now, it's going to go under there since I don't have an office chair yet. And this is just what it looks like. It's officially the next morning and I'm ready to keep going. Let's get to it. This is most definitely not 
gonna be easy. It came with a bunch of pieces. It came with these little metal pieces, all of these wood pieces, white and brown. It came with this big old bag of screws, nails, whatever you wanna call them, everything. And this old thick ass packet full of instructions. This is most definitely not going to be an easy task. It's going to be so difficult, but nothing good comes easily. And I can do anything I put my mind to. Okay, if I'm being honest with you guys, this part is the hardest part of the room. Because I just did the first one and it took me like 10 minutes to do it. And the reason why it's so difficult, like it's not even a difficult task. It's just that this is blocking my view. We're just gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do our best and hopefully it comes out right. Okay, YouTube, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye.